Hi, I'm Joanne Russell, past Wimbledon champion, doubles 1977. And now I've found pickleball and I love it. I'm gonna teach you how to move. You wanna learn the chip and charge. Well, it was one of my go-to things when I was a tennis player. Now I'm a pickleball player, so what do you want? I want to use the things that I do best in tennis and transfer them over into pickleball. So my chip or slice, either one, it's the same thing. Um, if you want to learn how, you take your pen. You put a line on the ball at it's the equator, this is the Earth. And here is the equator, or you can call it the midline if you wanna be a little bit boring. So what you do is when you chip and charge, the paddle is slightly above where you're gonna hit. So where is it that you're gonna hit? You're gonna hit slightly below the equator or the midline. So if you draw it, now it, you never know, it might not come up where you want it, but I know where it is. I see it, it's the midline. So I can visualize now where my paddle is gonna hit this ball and then I'm gonna continue on towards my target. And you notice my paddle face did not change. I didn't go to the ball and flop it or lift it. That'll change the, where the ball goes. It'll go down into the net or it'll go out. And so you do have to hit a lot of balls and practice, once again, practice, practice, practice. <laughs> and you just need somebody tossing you a ball or if they are good at feeding or they'll get better at feeding, they'll hit you a ball. But first start out tossing or drop hit to yourself. And we'll give you an example of it. This is what we call an open stance. This is a slightly closed stance. I like an open stance. So I leave it out in front, I get my paddle ready. You notice it's not way back here. <laughs> it's right there. I toss it up and I hit it. And I'm just practicing. I want it to go over the net. Hey, if it goes out, it's okay. At least it's going over the net and I'm hitting cross court. So I set my paddle, I toss it out in front, step towards the ball. Set my paddle and not back here. I don't need it back here. My paddle is powerful. It depends on your paddle. You might have to take it back a little further, but I like it that I do not have to go way back here to hit the ball. I like seeing it right there. I toss it in front, I hit it, I move to the net. And here you go. You can, you can do this with no one or and got a wall over there. You know, you have a garage wall. You can hit there, I slice, I slice. Slightly above the ball. Perfect. One of the things about the slice is you do not want to let the ball go up and get down here because then you end up lifting. So when the ball comes to you, be ready. Like you're attacking. This is, this is really, I use it as a defensive shot. I use it as an attacking shot. I use it my return to serve all the time. And people are always serving. I go, oh, I'll return your serve for you. So they take the balls down there. They serve to me here. And I go, all right, I'm practicing my return of serve. The ball comes short, I get up here, I hit it, I move to the net. And see, it's an easy flow. You don't have to take a big swing. And if the wind blows the ball, hey, you can move your paddle over it because it's slightly above the ball. And then you have your imaginary line or you can make a line on every single ball you have. And then I'm trying to make the ball go where I want it to. And once again, practice, practice, practice. And I usually take the ball when it's at its peak or if, it, if it's bouncing hard enough, it depends on the pickleball. See, I don't let it go up and then drop. If it's right there, see right there, go. You know, you wanna go after it. 
So we're just going to practice some of those here. And um, why don't you guys go over there, and you can take the balls, serve me a couple, and I'll hit some balls back to you. I'm going to practice a backhand. So uh, go over there. Somebody can serve. And I don't know how you serve, so I've got to stay back a little bit. Uh, unless you hit it on the baseline, then I might block it back, I might lob it. But most of the time, I'm a slicer, a chip and charger. See, and I, it, it seems to float. Now that was a chip and it hit and it curved. Was it in? Watch out, you better hit me a good serve. So you just chip and come in. And that was quite, that was a nice serve over there. So there you go. I, hopefully I won't ever have to play the whole chord. <laughs> So serve it again. And look, this is the way, this is the way I'm doing it. Now, see how my head's here? I don't want it there. You want to think about it's, you're balancing something up here because you want your eyes to do all the work. So I'm here. You serve it. If it's tough, it's easy, whatever. See, and I just get in here. I return, and that's my, my partner's up close. They're gonna hit that. All I want is my ball to stay low, maybe skid a little bit. And your serve is very good. It's landing back here and it's making a really tough return for me. And so what am I doing? I'm trying to get it cross court because it's a good serve. Anything in this area here, if you get your serve in here, that's a great serve because something good might happen to, to a return, it could be shorter. Okay, that one I could not hit a slice on. It was too deep. So if you hit a shorter serve, you hit, hit a little bit shorter if you can. So, you know, it's, it's like an attackable serve. Anything in here I, I love that. I'm going to chip it and run in because when you're returning, you want to get to the net and then get ready for your volley. Here you go. Yes. Touch your ear. Yeah, there you go. Oh, my, he hasn't forgotten. Way to go. This is the ball, and we're, we're going there. So here's the ball. I don't want to go up here. This is an, the angle of inflection. It equals deflection. So if you chop too high down on the ball, your deflected ball is going to be a skinny V. So we just set it slightly above the ball. We hit it, and we continue, see, right down where we want to hit it, just like that. Okay, next. Okay, but I want to slice. Okay, so if it's low, look at it. Get down there and look at it. Push your face towards the ball. Yes, okay, hold on, that's too high. It's the angle, because you think you're keeping it the same, like this, but when you hit the ball, you slide under. Because look, that's what makes the ball go up. You hit it, you hit it on the bottom, slightly on the bottom, but if you catch it here, remember, this is our, this is our equator, the midline of the ball. So we, this is not where we hit it. It's slightly below that midline. And then you think, okay, if this ball were on, do you guys have a nice table at home? Okay, so it's either glass or it's, you know, oak or something. You don't want to put a big ding in your table. You don't want to go like that. You want to let this edge 
come to the midline and then scrape along the top of that table and it will look new as the day you bought it. So no dings in the top of the table. And look, somebody says, well, what if the ball's lower? And I go, get down there and get it. I said, if it's lower, you don't start up here. You spread your feet a little wider and you go after it. So go. Yup. Good. Ready? Good. Good. Set your paddle. There you go. That was good. Okay, try it again. Set, move your feet. Okay, good. Head towards the ball, eyes towards the ball. Perfect, perfect. I like that. Set. Good, very good. See, it, you had a little bit, but not a violent swing. Hey, you need to aim this. This is a good ball that you can aim different places. So set your paddle. Yes, that is perfect. Set. Yes. No, that was a little scooped because it went up too high. This is a ball you want to keep lower. Set. Yes. Good. Very good. Okay, ready? Set. Yes. Set. Yes. Okay, now I'm going to move over here. So now you go straight ahead and now you're going cross court. Okay, ready? Set. Set your paddle. Yes. That is perfect. And yours looks different than mine, but it doesn't matter. You're still putting a little slice on it and it's driving and it's gonna go in and stay low. And maybe if you're lucky, it skids. Okay, set it. Yes, we want it to come over here. Okay, ready? That's it. But make it go to me, you went right to left. You need to go right to the target. See, because if I go right to left, yes, I'll put spin on it, but it, it'll kind of go short and we'll go a little spinny. It'll be pretty good. Okay, ready? Set. Okay. Now I want it here, but go there like this. Okay, ready? Yes. So you go right and then it ends up past your left elbow. See if you can keep this. We'll divide ourselves in half. So if I'm going this way, look, it's still, it's not way over here. And if I'm going to you, I'm going to keep it on my right half. Boom. Because I need to be able to aim it. So if you go, and your follow through is somewhere in the stratosphere over here. I mean, yeah, I won't be able to tell where it's going, but you won't either. All right. So keep it, you know, because then you're going to aim it. Here we go. Go. Yes, see a little discipline there. Okay, come on over here. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. All right, come on. Discipline. We're in the army now. Discipline. No, come on now, you can do better than that. There, slice. Yes, good. But it doesn't need to be a winner. You can get it in. And from this, you can do a third shot, drop. You can do a drive. You can do a lob, all looking, all looking relatively the same. So you don't have to fake anybody, you just like this and, uh, oh, I hit it soft. See, so it's the same set that I use for a soft one, a high one, or I drive it. And that's what you want. You want something that somebody can't tell what you're going to do. You know what you're going to do. Don't panic. Take your time. Don't panic. There you go. But lower. You came under it. Okay, ready? Okay. Stay on that same side, on the right half. Yep. Whoops. A little bit high. Here you go. We're doing forehands. Okay. Too high. You got the power in there. Here we go. There you go. Ooh. Okay, so what makes the ball go too high? Under it, yes. So instead of, you can go right to left on one side. See, it's a small shot. That's, that was very nice. So I am somewhat going a little from right to
to left on the ball, but I'm not going right to left way over there, like way in the coffee shop next door. We want to just go a little right to left and then, see, I want to go, go. Yes, yes.